Hi folks and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to take a look at the Microsoft Works Suite. So let's get started. Okay, so to make this review really into the time, we're going to use a computer from back in the day. We're going to use a 2004 Toshiba Tecra A2. This computer was uh, a business machine. It was sold with Microsoft Windows XP Professional and with Microsoft Office Professional pre-installed. I do have all seven disks for Microsoft Work Suite and um, also all of the um, license key and all seven disks. Now, as you can see, this computer uses a homemade bracket to hold the display vertically. So if you do have hinges for one of these computers, a Toshiba Tecra A2, and you are willing to sell them, please contact me because I would like to restore this computer. Uh, also, um, I'm using a version of Windows XP that is slightly modified to not get a license key. Now, I do have a license key. It's on the back of the computer on a sticker. And if you do have an official disk for Windows XP Professional, and you are willing to sell it or just get an ISO off of it, uh, please contact me because I would want an ISO for that. Now, back to Microsoft Work Suite. What was it and why did Microsoft introduce it? With what purpose and why? Well, basically you had Microsoft Office, which was expensive and was tailored for enterprise. It, it was used by companies for their employees so they can make invoices, reports, and all these kind of stuff and spreadsheets about sales and databases for stocks. Okay, great, shut off. Let's try this again. So what really happened is that they used Microsoft Office for all their stuff but it was expensive. It had a simple design, but it required training to use. So you had to know what to look for for that efficiency in the simple design. And that's what the thing was about it. You see, Microsoft Office was more tailored for the enterprise and it was expensive. So you, it came with a word processor, a spreadsheet program, with a, it came with PowerPoint for presentations, it came with InfoPath and Publisher, to make business cards and all these kind of stuff and with Microsoft Office Access for databases. But the average person that was at home wouldn't need all of these features. And what the thing is, is that Microsoft uh, really did want to cover the home market as well. And for the average person, they didn't need all those features they want just a word processor a spreadsheet program to track their expenses they also wanted uh, let's say a roadmap to plan their trips and that would calculate routes they wanted an atlas they wanted uh, also maybe a database to track some stuff but they didn't really want let's say it has published it to make calendars and stuff but those weren't really used they really just wanted a word processor and a spreadsheet processor and these kind of stuff and they wanted it cheaper than the office would offer it because at the time you had just office standard and professional and those retailed for $150 for standard and 500 for professional with which this computer came with uh, but for the lower end machines they didn't need the office they wanted just for home usage or if they bought it for their home PC the average person would want it cheaper. So that's why Microsoft Work Suite retailed at $40 and was sold for $1 for OEMs to install on their lower end machines. And that's where Microsoft Office, Microsoft Work Suite, excuse me, won because it was really simple. It had a vivid interface and it was really tailored for home usage so that um, they got a simple interface that was not necessary to know about it or learn it and yet it was usable it wasn't the most efficient like office was but yet it did have its simplicity so office was simple and 
but it required you to know so you are efficient in it whilst work suite wasn't that efficient but it was simple and didn't require any training so let's get to installing all the drivers and stuff and then install Microsoft Work Suite. Okay, so now that we are putting in the disks for work suite, and I found a screen recorder for Windows XP that would work, OBS does not work on Windows XP, and others are not free, this is the only thing I found free. And yet it has a problem, as you can see there is a little ward mark, and I'm going to ask you to ignore it. I noticed it only after recording, only now in editing, and I don't want to spend another 7 hours just getting the computer back to run and reinstall this. So, excuse me, I just noticed it after recording all the thing, I don't want to re-record it, and it's the only software that I found running properly right now on this machine. Okay, so let's install Microsoft Work Suite. So these are the basic programs you would get, apart from the Microsoft Works pack, like the spreadsheet and databases, and we're going to get to install Word. Now, this isn't the Microsoft Office Word 2000. This is Microsoft Word SR1. It's a modified version of Word. It has different templates and uh, slightly trimmed down on features. So it doesn't have all of the features that the enterprise, kind of like Microsoft Office, did have. And it has different templates. So let's get to finish installing Microsoft Word 2000. And we're going to just take a look at all the other programs as well, because there are different programs. We're going to take a look at the tasks and the programs and what they really do. Now, Phone Sync, if you noticed it, is just uh, now for syncing your cellular with it. If you'd notice, it says the name of the disk you, it wants you to insert, not the number. And why I think that was is that they didn't want to use Picture It and, and Carta just on the work suite. They also wanted to use it separately. So they did have different stuff. So this is what the task launcher uh, looks like. And uh, you have all the programs here. You have Auto Route and picture it and Microsoft Word uh, and you had also in Carta but you, you can see the interface is way more vivid and easy to see and it isn't as efficient as the simple design in Microsoft Office but it doesn't require learning and what happens with it is that it's really simple and colorful and attractive for the home person, whilst it is, doesn't make really good use of the screen for, let's say, enterprise uses. So let's look at Microsoft Auto Route. It's basically just like Google Maps. You have all the ro roads, and you can zoom in and out, and you can see the cities and addresses, and it's just great. And you can just look at the roads and also make and plan your trips so you can just make um, routes. So if you want to go by car, let's say from London to Hamburg. And you would get uh, all of these things. Now on Microsoft and Carta, this was a different stuff. It also prompts you to put in the CD because it doesn't have all of the information it needs on the hard drive. Now, this was kind of like Google Earth at the time. Now, remember that the internet back then didn't do much. It was just a bunch of text, and you really didn't find a lot of information. And the Atlas was really, really good. 
it was just like the modern day Google Earth. You could zoom in and out and you can see the map and you can also see articles and pictures and you can get maps by languages, religions, population density, time zones, political maps, geographical maps. You can get a lot of stuff and you can look at them and then you also get the moon and you get quizzes and everything in Microsoft and Carter. You get you get a lot of features and stuff you wouldn't mind expect. You get statistics like economics, infrastructure, and all of stuff. Now this is the task launcher and you can see you can distort. Uh, the first tab is basically more internet based and they aren't online anymore. If I go on the second tab I can just click on the template from Microsoft Word. For instance a letter or a CV then filling the information I need for let's say the uh, sample text or the color or the font or this kind of stuff and then when I click finish I can also modify the text and I do get the templates that I would want from home. They aren't the templates that you would get like report on Office but you get more uh, for home usage. Also this applies with the picture it the same philosophy you get um, more home oriented um, templates you get also within car you can get country information you can get uh, the 3d world model you can get a lot of stuff you also have to put in the CD but you get also quizzes and other kinds of stuff so if I go to country information and Microsoft and Carter launches You can tell that you do have a lot of information. You can click on a country. This is my country. And you can also read about it, listen to the anthem, and then also see facts uh, about people, basic, about economy. You can get about the infrastructure. You can get statistics um, and a lot of other stuff. And you can just go on cities and counties. And, and I'll also see uh, the towns and everything. It's a really elaborate map, and I do appreciate what Microsoft did. Uh, because back then you didn't have, I mean, it was for money, definitely. It was just to cover up a segment that wasn't there. And really, it's just like the predecessor of Google Earth. Um, you didn't have much at the time on the internet so this was really there to take its place uh, most of the good stuff was basically MSN that you would find and you saw it in the first tab but they aren't really all online anymore so if I click here you can also get quizzes so this was really targeted for the whole family at the home PC so the father is word processing to write a letter and do his expenses and the spreadsheet and monitor the incomes into Microsoft Money and the kid could go on Encarta and also on Word to get a, an, an essay. You get also some management stuff again with some MSN and also with the spreadsheet with Microsoft Works spreadsheet. That's what they called the spreadsheet program. You also had one for databases. And you can see the templates are just work record and expenses and these kind of templates. You can also sort the task launcher by programs. So the tasks are sorted by programs, not also categories right here. If I launch the spreadsheet, you can see it's just like a trimmed down version of Microsoft uh, Office Excel. In money management, it uses basically Microsoft money. And let's take a moment, moment to set up Microsoft money so you can see what Microsoft money was really like. Uh, so if I go here, you could just set up, you go tell money about yourself and let's make a quick profile. Uh, let's quickly make a profile for Microsoft money so you can see what it's all about. So right here you would put basically your bank accounts and your cards uh, and your savings account and you can basically manage a lot of stuff so if I go here I can just select 
a lot of the stuff. And you could basically, what you can do with this, it's monitor the incomes and the bills and your balances. And as far as I think, the, the paychecks and the bills would be automatically added to the balance periodically, depending on what is set. Whilst you can also put expenses on the spot. For instance, if you bought gas for the car, uh, you would just put it at the expenses and it would automatically subtract it from the balance. And it was basically just a money management tool, so you didn't have to do all of this into a spreadsheet and it had an interface that dedicated for that. So Microsoft Money was uh, something about money management in the house for your uh, to manage your incomes and expenses and you can see it really was about that. So you can add charges Also, you can get, um, uh, these are just templates in the programs we already saw, but let's go for the Microsoft Works database. This we didn't take a look at. This is just like Microsoft Access, you can make a database, you have some templates and you can make your own database and create your own template. You can also sort by programs. So, so this is really what it's all about in Microsoft Works. It was basically a home version of Microsoft Office tailored for it. It had different programs than the today's Microsoft Office Home. So it is quite a different product, but it was made especially for home and it was way, way cheaper than what it was back then because Office was really expensive back then. So yeah, guys, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you wanna see more, click that subscribe button. See you next time on How Do IT.